hi everyone in this video we will be talking about uh, other persistence mechanism that is uh, using registry keys auto run registry so that is uh, either you can use run or run once registry so you can read more about this uh, uh, registry keys here I will add this link in the description uh, so basically uh, there are two registry keys which you can edit or add here in this path so HK uh, HKLM is for uh, local machine so basically this will work for every user in, on that machine and uh, for current user so that will only work for the particular user for which you configure uh, and uh, what is the difference between run and run once is uh, run once will only run once and then it will automatically be deleted whereas run will run each time whenever user logs in okay yeah and that's that's it so let's see this uh, once how these registry keys work let me open registry editor and the path is this software microsoft windows current version software let me paste that yeah enter yeah so currently we have uh, two registry keys already here which are uh, one for glassware and one is for Microsoft Edge or to launch something garbage which is starting this application automatically so you will find things which you don't know exist which you don't know exist in your system uh, so let's modify this to something which is visible let's open notepad uh, and the location of notepad should be in system32 folder Where is it? 32. Yeah. No pad. Yes. Properties. Copy. Slash no pad dot exe so we have modified this and let's see this in action if it works or not let me log out and let's log in So notepad is running automatically when you uh, when user is logging in. So that's how this auto run registry keys work. And now let's use this for uh, persistence as a attacker. Uh, so I have already started HTTP reverse uh, reverse HTTP listener, and which is listening on port number eighty. Let's create a payload for this. Uh, I'm using this uh, web hosted PowerShell payload. Uh, 
launch so we got a nice one liner for this and let's paste this enter so we got initial access as user now let me make this beacon interactive using sleep zero so now uh, we need to uh, use the registry keys for persistence we want to use sorry so for that uh, we got the shell as a normal user so we are not this is not a privileged shell uh, so current user uh, the user with which we got uh, the shell so we can edit only this user's registry keys so what I'm trying to say is we cannot our current the current user is not able to edit uh, do not have permission to edit these uh, HKLM registry keys because this is for uh, 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 for the local system whereas this user can edit uh, registry keys for himself or for uh, the current user yeah so in our case as our uh, shell is not privileged so we can only edit or modify this registry key so again we can use sharp persist for this or you can do that manually as well if you want to let's use sharp persist because uh, we are lazy Uh, so command for that will be this execute assembly and sharp persist binary location on the attacker system minus t is the technique we want to use is three keys minus c is the command which you want to run whenever user logs in that is uh, we want to run powershell with these arguments uh, and this is our malicious payload so how you can generate this is uh, so we want to run this iex new object dot net and download string this yeah so we just uh, place this into a variable and then base 64 the contents of this variable uh, copy paste here and this is the yeah location of sharp persistence you can see here slash root slash desktop slash tools yeah here is the sharp persist enter so we were able to add this in our registry keys now if we uh, let me yeah remove this or exit from here once to see whether our persistence works or not and let's re-log in and we got uh, shell once again twice yeah so it ran twice uh, nonetheless here yeah. so this is how you can use uh, registry keys for uh, auto run registry keys for persistence Yeah, so that's it for this uh, video 
we will see other business mechanisms in the next ones thank you for watching